Hello everybody, I'm Simon and you maybe know me from the latest article in the JCO issue March 2020 about CAT CAM virtual plant and 3G metal printed orthodontic distalizer on TAT. So Neil Kravitz asked me if I can talk a bit about that article. To be honest with you, I'm not so well trained about making movies, so this is completely uncensored, uncut. Enjoy! So, that's the article we are talking about, which I could publish with Benedict and Siva. So, you already heard about me maybe from the other article in the HLO in 2018, where I presented the first metal printed rapid palatable expansion device. In 2014, when I started my clinic with 3D scanning, there was always the question, okay, what should I do? Should I cannot make an appliance on just a scan. So I started with virtual design, 3D metal printing, and I started to make some trial, trial, trial and error, of course, till the appliance were fitting nicely in the mount. Okay, from this scan in 2014, when I started, I had to think, do I want to go to a regular distal slider, which you can see has many small parts. And for me, so many small parts is not so positive. So for me, I prefer to keep it simple. I would like to have just one piece. I just want to have like this. I think what especially drives me, what in all on the orthodontic field is how can I make our speciality better? How can I push it? How can we bring progress in our speciality? So to make a simple appliance, just one piece where I can just grab, put in the mouth. I don't need to put the things together. I don't need to be afraid that things fall in the mouth would be the simplest and best way. Also, what is nicely with the distalizer, you have always control on the root torque. So it's just going straight because the, the pines grabs the tooth bodily and keeps and pushes it. There is no way it can tilt. Okay? So from the scan, you have to scan the implants, you add the distalization screws, as you can see, you make a virtual design. You can do it with tree shape for sure, but you can use also ExoCAD, Mesh Mixer, Blender, whatever software you like. Then it goes in the AMLAP machine. This is a machine that you can actually buy for your clinic if you want to. But to be honest with you, maybe it makes more sense to buy one with like three, four other clinics together because they're quite expensive and you need to have somebody that maintains the machine. Then that's the appliance directly in the mouth, how you can add it. You just put the fixation screws, you bond it to the teeth, one step, really nice and easy. And the patient can turn two times a week and that's enough. This, my friends, was my first distalizer back in 2014. You can see this thing was huge. So luckily we did make some progress, you know. Of course you can do whatever you want to, like here you can hire a hire distalizer and you can do also appliance for sure, not on tats only. You can just put a high rack, you can put whatever design crosses your mind, you can skip teeth that can fall out, whatever you like. The main point is that you want to go from here to your appliance in as less as possible steps. You want to make it better, you want to make it more simple, you want to make it more easy. So, as you can see, that's my special thing, that's what is special for me, what I like about my passion, my hobby, orthodontics. So, if you ever want to come and visit me, please feel free, pass by my clinic, visit me. I always have time to share my passion with all of you. So, please. Send me a message, add me somewhere, and have fun. Bye, everybody.